So what we find is that a lot of clients have a call tracking system and maybe they have an intake software like Lead Docket. I love Lead Docket. Me too. Yes, I know you Lead do. Docket is great, but most people don't leverage like all of the features, all of the capabilities of Lead Docket, such as integrating their call tracking system with Lead Docket, adding all of your contact sources so that if you enter the phone number in of a potential client or you have a web form that comes in, you integrate that with the system and it will auto-populate and attribute to the contact source. I have a question though. So we ran into this issue with attribution Mm -hmm. where um, they'll sign a case, they have a phone number, but the phone number doesn't match the call rail number. Mm -hmm. The caller ID? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like maybe they called um, from an office or their sister cell phone or something like that where the actual phone number that is tracked in call rail mm-hmm. isn't the best uh like primary contact number mm-hmm. so when we're trying to find where a case originated what is there like a secondary i i know the answer but i want you to, to yes. explain this to people so you can put us you, you yes tell. so i love this question because we do this often for our clients that might want to get like super granular about specific landing pages or like location pages on their site without building out several types of forms on their site. So you can just use the UTM codes and enter that into Lead Docket. You can use the UTM codes or add specific like domain URLs if you're using a system like Lead Docket. No, no, no. What I mean is I don't mean the number that like the call tracking number that they dialed. I mean the number that they called from. So the number that CallRail is tracking, um, you know, say it's 800-555-5555, is not the phone number that um, is the primary contact's phone number. So some at some point during intake, the callback number is a different phone number. So it's hard to trace that this, this uh, phone number from CallRail is actually attached to this def- different phone number that we've attached in our CRM tool Um, or sorry, in our case management software uh, to the client. So the client's phone number is not 800-555. It's, you know, 323, whatever. You know, do you see what I'm saying? Kind of. But are they, so are they, are they entering a different number from the device that they're on? Yes. You can still use the the UTM codes. So how, but I'm not saying they're entering it into the contact submission form. I mean, the intake specialist so in Lead Docket, this is why I love Lead Docket. Okay, so there is like an extra yes, cool thing. Okay, yes. like explain this to me. Okay, so in Lead Docket, you can get super granular. So the way that we set up Lead Docket at Legal Intake Pros is we pull everything from the referral URL. So you have like the current URL, the referral URL. If we have UTM codes that we can feed into the system as well, we will do that. A call tracking system as well. So Uh, When an opportunity comes in, it will actually show a trail of this is the number they called from. This is their digital footprint in terms of maybe the page that they were on, um, any UTM codes that matched up. So there is a way to foolproof it in a way where you'll have multiple data points in the system. Including their actual phone number. Including their actual phone number. Got it. Exactly. Exactly. So there's a way to do that, but you have to, we rely on our clients to get that information from them, especially like social media. So if they have a social media campaign and those callers or those prospects maybe didn't click the actual call to action on the, on their social media to call, we'll just get the UTM codes from them so that it will automatically attribute towards this social media campaign or whatever other campaign that they have. So there's ways of doing um, what we call foolproof tracking without necessarily needing the actual um, call, right, in order to attribute to that contact source. And are you also tracking like, uh, so CallRail will give me like source one, like the channel drill down. Do you know what I'm talking about? Kind of. And it'll tell you like, um, it came from this website, but then they went to this. Yes. Like it actually yes. gives you like a whole kind of history of yes. what happened. Are you looking at all of that? We are looking at that and you can pull that information in. So if anyone is listening and has Lead Docket, if you go to the manage section on Lead Docket and you go to integrations and you click on auto source roles, you'll be able to find that. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay.